Bloop a doop a doo. Bloop a doop a da ba In other mediums of entertainment, film, television, music, a lot of people like to sort of fetishize old things. Oh, they don't make movies like insert movie from my childhood here anymore. Or, you know, movies were much better in the golden age of cinema. Like everything has a golden age and for some reason it's always the 50s or something. I feel that for video games especially, it's pretty observable and provable that a lot of these early games have great ideas that later are made better when the technology improves. You just referenced it with Earthbound, right? I, I think you would have to be a particularly hardcore old school gamer to say that the original Earthbound is, you know, hands down better than the second game in the series which in some ways is an updated re-release. In some ways it's different. I think that this is truer of other mediums too than people are willing to admit. Just because a movie or a game is old and looks old and feels old doesn't make it good. It's interesting to see how technology has taken these games to new places that like, you know, Mario, like a lot of, it's another perfect example. A lot of people feel like, oh, well, nothing is ever gonna beat Super Mario Land. Nothing's ever gonna beat Super Mario Brothers or, or insert, really what it is, is insert old game that gives you nostalgia feeling here. I think that nostalgia is definitely a huge part in why we like what we like from our childhood. But also, film bros, please do not fight with us. We're not here to start a fight with you. <laughs> because I know that if you're watching, you have strong opinions on this. <laughs> I like, Ramin, what you said about how, you know, people like their old things and they like the nostalgia about them. But if you think about like the golden age of movies or the golden age of TV, we could argue over what these golden ages mean, but there's an element of storytelling that needs to take place in old movies, old TV. And since the screen has become a medium for these things, movies have been able to tell a good story without without real modern tech like we have today. TV has been able to tell good stories without big advanced graphics and tech. Video games, that's not always been the case. They've had to grow with these great stories or great characters and things and kind of work with what they had at the time. So of course they're going to improve over time and you can argue about which game is better, but the truth is it's just a very natural growth. Like it's, it's like saying that old silent movies are better than talkies. Like it's very different than, than what we would have, you know, going to the theater today. And also I think that a lot of people when it, specifically with movies would make a very compelling case that movies from even just 15 years ago are way better than they are now. And I don't think that's 100% true across the board, but I think like even Scorsese has said that like, yeah, superhero movies are fun, but like we're, we're not doing real cinema anymore. And I love superhero movies and I will watch all of them and enjoy them. But there is something like comparing the deep nuanced storytelling in any, even like the best superhero movie and comparing it against something like, I don't know, a movie that I really love, like All About Eve, which is surprising at every twist, and the camp is just dripping off of the screen the whole time, and it's just, it's it's such, such a good movie. I think it's one of those things where the limitations of any genre can sometimes make the inventiveness of its creators better. Like Stravinsky has a quote about that. When it comes to video games, I think that is still somewhat the case. Even looking at Final Fantasy games, though the story is still important in Final Fantasy games, later Final Fantasy games are focusing more and more on the graphics and the gameplay, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Those are great things. They just tend to not be the things that I myself feel the most drawn to, to each their own. Yeah, I think, one thing I would add to this interesting conversation, even though I know it's not a conversation about any specific game on this list, I think it's good to have. One thing I would add to this conversation comparing video games to other genres of media and how technology impacts them over time is that I would argue for video games, technology is more limiting in what they are 
sort of seeking to do, which is really granting the person experiencing the game a level of agency over that world, that setting, that story, whatever. What you have agency over really changes based on the style of game, right? In Bomberman, it's where to put the bombs. But in a dating simulator, you know, your agency is more about character choices and interactions. But regardless, I think a key difference to consider is when we're talking about technological limitations in movies, and I'm going to point out now, I'm not a cinema expert, so film bros and whoever else is out there, please don't come for me. Uh, but the technology that limits movies really has more to do with what movies can do visually or orally. The technology that's limit has limited games traditionally really does limit the level of agency. You know, an open world game like Skyrim or um, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I'm only mentioning because I've been playing it a lot lately, but like those sorts of open world big games where the agency is, you know, at max capacity were not possible in 1989 with the technology limitations that were there. And I think that it's worth noting that maybe that impacts this genre more than other genres, because agency is so much more critical to an experience of a video game than it is to a movie. Older and newer, neither is better. I think that it has more to do with whether or not the game or piece of media, whatever it is, accomplishes what it seems to set out to accomplish. And using those metrics, I think that the technical technological advances in current day cinema are not the reason why some people don't think it's good cinema as it it's all it's all to do about the storytelling and what they're trying to say which is a valid argument uh one that i don't completely buy into because i also am not a huge film nerd storytelling is something humans have been doing since humans were humans and it's always going to be the most important element of any kind of media at the end of the day well, I don't know that I actually agree. I do think storytelling has always been a constant in human history, but if you look at video games overall, a lot of them have nothing to do with telling a story, really. Oh, well, that's true. Like fighting games. And, and, you know, a lot of them, I think there's ostensibly a story involved. You look at a game like Mortal Kombat, that kind of series, there is a story in Mortal Kombat, but I would argue that the story in Mortal Kombat is really there to appease people who are used to having stories in their media. Because most people who play Mortal Kombat, I, I hope I'm not making assumptions, most people who play Mortal Kombat aren't coming for the story, right? Nobody is like, wow, Scorpion is a really fascinating three-dimensional character, right? They want to see Scorpion kick somebody's head off their body. Like, yeah. And even going all the way back to like Pong, like there's no story in Pong, but still it flew off the shelves and everyone had to have it. It was like the must have right. to own at the at right. time. And story is super important to video games still. I think it just depends on what kind of game you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Puzzle puzzle games are a very strong exception to what we, what we, right. we just said, yeah. Right, and, and certainly the three people on this call, as far as I know, uh, enjoy a good story in their video games, but that doesn't mean everybody does. But yeah, yeah, puzzle games, fighting games, racing games, sports games, they're not as story focused, but that doesn't mean they can't be. And that doesn't, but it also doesn't mean that it's a bad thing that they're not. 